In this video, I'm going to be talking about another great reel-to-reel -reel machine that I owned years ago. This was the Sears Model 34401. And it's a great reel-to-reel -reel recorder. If you ever happen to find one in good condition secondhand, definitely pick it up. It's a, it's a wonderful, straightforward machine. Now, from what I've read, this Model 34401 was built in 1968 by the Sanyo company for sale by Sears. And overall, it is a sturdy, simple, and somewhat portable reel-to-reel -reel recorder. It came with two speakers that attached to the front of the recorder, and it was a very nice feature. On the front of the deck, off to the left, you had volume and tone buttons. And on the volume button, the inner dial was for the left channel and the outer dial, the silver dial, was for the right channel. You also had a tone slash power knob. And just off to the side of that, you had your speed selection. And this thing could run at three different speeds. You had one and seven eighth inches per second three and three quarters inches per second and seven and a half inches per second. And as with most reel to reel recorders, this thing really sounded great at seven and a half inches per second. Also just above that, you had your tape counter. In the middle of the unit, there was a cover with the Sears logo on it that could be removed for cleaning and maintenance. There were also two VU meters, one each for the left and right channel. Off to the right, there was this large silver switch that offered rewind, stop, play, pause, and fast forward. And just below that were two record buttons. Now, this is what I loved the most about the Sears Model 34401. The two record buttons, which were white on my deck, but I've also seen some decks that were black that had two red record buttons, but on my deck, these two white little square buttons, you could press both of them at the same time to do a standard stereo recording. Or you could just record one at a time. So you could record, for example, something on left, rewind, and overdub something on right. So it offered basic overdubbing or essentially two track recording. And I love that about this machine. On the side of the unit, you have a speaker on off switch, a headphone jack, which was one quarter inch, left and right speaker jacks, which were one eighth of an inch. You had line out and auxiliary in, and both of those were RCA. And you also had two mic inputs, which were both one quarter inch. So for a unit that was so simple and straightforward, it really offered a lot of flexibility in terms of inputs and outputs. The largest reels that this thing could take were seven inch reels and there were two rubber holders that would keep the reels in place. Now I'm not sure what this thing cost brand new, uh, but I got mine second hand for $20. I believe I purchased it in 1993 or 1994. My machine was brown but I've also seen, as I mentioned before, it did come in black. Overall, it's a great, simple recorder. It's basically a great introduction to reel-to-reel -reel recording. So, for example, if you're a younger person who's never owned a reel-to-reel -reel deck and it's something that you want to get into, this is the perfect introduction to reel-to-reel -reel recording. It's just nice and simple and straightforward and easy to operate. It offered two track recording, as I mentioned, and that to me was lots of fun. Again, if you happen to find one second hand, pick it up. I don't think you will be disappointed. Thank you for watching. I hope you can join us again next time. And please, as I've mentioned before, please subscribe to our channel. We offer new tech reviews all the time, and the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. I would love to have you join our family. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We would love to hear from you. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.